Welcome back to our channel today we're diving into the world of rare coins to first up the UK one new penny was introduced in 1971 as part of the decimalization of British currency, featuring a depiction of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse and a seated Britannia on the reverse, these coins hold historical and cultural significance. Now let's address the burning question, what's the value of a 1975 UK one new penny coin in good condition in today's market? Well, the value of any coin depends on several factors such as its rarity, condition, and demand among collectors. In the case of the 1975 One New Penny, while it's not considered rare, its condition plays a significant role in determining its value. Coin grading is essential in assessing its condition coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint condition, with factors like scratches wear and discoloration taken into account. So if you happen to have a 1975 UK One New Penny in good condition, you might be looking at a value ranging from $100,565. However, it's essential to stay updated on market trends and consult with reputable coin dealers or numismatic experts to get an accurate appraisal. And don't forget, the value of coins can fluctuate over time due to various factors including changes in demand and the overall economic climate. So whether you're a seasoned collector or just stumbled upon a vintage coin, exploring its history and value can be an exciting journey into the past. Next up the UK 3 pence 1967 large date coin in uncirculated condition. Let's find out what makes this coin so special and how much it's worth in today's market. The UK 3 pence 1967 large date coin is a beautiful piece of history. It features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse and a crowned portcullis with chains on the reverse. The large date variety is particularly sought after by collectors due to its rarity and unique design. When determining the value of this coin, several factors come into play. The condition of the coin is paramount, with uncirculated coins commanding a higher price. Rarity is also a key factor, and the large date variety of the 1967 3 pence adds to its desirability among collectors. So how much is the UK 3 pence 1967 large date coin worth in today's market? On average this coin can fetch anywhere from $25,350 depending on its condition and the current demand. However, prices can vary, so it's always best to consult with a reputable coin dealer or use online resources to get an accurate valuation. In conclusion, the UK 3 pence 1967 large date coin is a valuable and sought-after piece for any coin collector. Its rarity and unique design make it a prized addition to any collection if you're lucky enough to own one of these coins take good care of it, as its value is sure to appreciate over time. The UK 20 pence 2012 coin Featuring a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse and a segment of the royal shield on the reverse is a common find in many collections. However, its value can vary based on its condition. In fine condition, which indicates the coin has some wear but still retains its original details the UK 20 pence 2012 coin can fetch a decent price in today's market. As of January 2024, it is valued at around $46,500. To explain this value, we need to consider several factors firstly the rarity of this particular year and denomination plays a significant role. While the UK 20 pence 2012 is not considered rare its condition adds to its appeal among collectors. Secondly, the grading of the coin is crucial. The fine condition indicates that the coin has noticeable wear but still retains most of its original details this makes it more desirable than coins in lower grades. Lastly, market demand and supply dynamics also impact the value as more collectors seek specific coins to complete their collections the value of coins in good condition tends to increase. In conclusion, the UK 20 pence 2012 coin in fine condition has a solid value in today's market, reflecting its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. If you have one in your collection, it's worth holding onto or considering adding to your collection. Next up UK 5 New Pence 1970 coin and exploring its value in today's market this particular coin, minted in 1970 features a beautiful design with a crowned thistle and the numeral 5 on the reverse and Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse. In fine condition, this coin can hold significant value for collectors. To determine the value of a UK 5 New Pence 1970 coin in fine condition, several factors come into play these include the coin's rarity historical significance and its condition. In today's market, a UK 5 New Pence 1970 coin in fine condition can fetch anywhere from $300,500. However, this value can vary based on market demand and the overall condition of the coin. 
Factors such as scratches, wear, and the overall appearance of the coin can impact its value collectors often look for coins with minimal wear and a sharp strike to the design. When assessing the condition of your UK 5 New Pence 1970 coin look for any signs of wear or damage. Coins with full details and minimal wear tend to command higher prices. For collectors looking to purchase or sell a UK 5 New Pence 1970 coin, it's essential to do your research, explore online marketplaces, attend coin shows, and consult with reputable coin dealers to get an accurate valuation. Next up, the UK won shilling 1954 in very fine condition. Let's dive right in. First, let's talk about the history of this coin. The UK won shilling, also known as a bob, was a commonly used denomination in Britain before decimalization in 1971. This particular coin, minted in 1954, features the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse and a beautiful design of a lion standing on a crown on the reverse. Now let's discuss the value of this coin in today's market. The UK won shilling 1954 in very fine condition is a sought-after coin among collectors. Its value can vary based on factors such as its condition, rarity and demand. According to recent market trends, the value of this coin has been steadily increasing, especially in very fine condition. As of February 2024, the approximate value of a UK 1 shilling 1954 in very fine condition is around $200,350. However, it's important to note that the actual value may vary based on the specific condition and other factors. So how can we explain the value of this coin? Well, its value is influenced by several factors. Firstly, the condition of the coin plays a crucial role. Coins in very fine condition are well-preserved with minimal wear, making them more desirable to collectors. Secondly, the rarity of the coin also affects its value. If the UK won shilling 1954 is scarce or has a low mintage, its value can be higher. Lastly, the demand for the coin among collectors also impacts its value coins that are in high demand are likely to fetch a higher price. As a collector, I find the UK won shilling 1954 in very fine condition to be a great addition to my collection. Its historical significance and beautiful design make it a standout piece. In conclusion, the UK won shilling 1954 in very fine condition is a valuable and collectible coin. Its value is influenced by factors such as its condition rarity and demand among collectors. If you're lucky enough to have one of these coins in your collection, be sure to take good care of it. Next up, the UK 2 pence 1993 coin. This little beauty, in good condition, has an interesting story to tell. Let's find out its value in today's market first off. What does good condition mean for a coin? In numismatics, good is a grading that indicates the coin has seen significant circulation, it might have heavy wear, and some details might be worn flat. Despite this, it can still be an appealing addition to a collection, especially for its historical value. The UK 2 pence 1993 features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse, with the reverse displaying the iconic crowned numeral 2 with a floral emblem. This design was used from 1982 to 2008, making the 1993 edition part of a popular series. Back in 1993, this coin would have been a common sight in the UK, used in daily transactions. Fast forward to today, and this coin has become a collectible piece, sought after by both beginners and seasoned collectors. So what's the value of UK 2 pence 1993 in good condition in today's market as of my research? It's valued at around $46,756. However, keep in mind that prices can vary based on factors like demand, condition, and overall market trends. Next up, the value of the UK 2 pence 2008 coin in fine condition. The UK 2 pence 2008 coin features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse side, and the reverse side showcases the iconic segment of the royal shield. Now let's talk about its value. In today's market, the UK 2 pence 2008 coin in fine condition is valued at around ten thousands of dollars. The value of this coin can vary based on its condition, rarity, and demand in the market factors such as minting errors, limited mintage, and historical significance can also influence its value. Fine condition is a grading term used to describe a coin that shows moderate wear but still retains most of its original design details. Coins in fine condition may have visible wear on the high points of the design, such as the crown on the queen's head or the lion on the shield, but the overall design is still clear. Compared to a mint condition coin, 
which has no wear and retains its original luster, a fine condition coin may have slightly less value but is still highly collectible. If you're looking to add the UK 2 pence 2008 coin in fine condition to your collection, be sure to check reputable coin dealers, online auctions, and coin shows for availability and pricing. Next up, the value of the UK 5 new pence 1975 coin in extra fine condition. Let's uncover the secrets behind this fascinating piece of history. First off, what makes this coin so special? Well apart from its historical significance, its condition plays a crucial role in determining its value extra fine condition signifies that the coin has minimal wear and retains its original luster. Now let's talk about value. The UK 5 new pence 1975 coin in extra fine condition can fetch a respectable sum in today's market. Its value can vary based on factors such as demand rarity and overall condition. According to recent market trends, this coin can range in value from $300,960 depending on its specific attributes and collector interest. However, it's essential to consult a reputable coin dealer or numismatic expert for an accurate appraisal. If you're looking to buy or sell this coin, online platforms such as eBay or specialized coin auction websites can be excellent resources. Just remember to research thoroughly and verify the authenticity of the coin before making any transactions. In conclusion, the UK 5 New Pence 1975 coin in extra fine condition holds both historical significance and monetary value in today's market. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a curious novice, exploring the world of numismatics can be a rewarding journey. Next up, the UK Half Penny 1942 in dirty condition. While some might overlook coins in less than perfect condition, they can hold surprising value in today's market. First, let's talk about the coin itself. The UK Halfpenny 1942 features a portrait of King George VI on the obverse and a seated Britannia on the reverse. Despite its age and condition, this coin has a fascinating history and is sought after by collectors. Now, let's discuss the value of the UK Halfpenny 1942 in dirty condition. While the exact value can vary based on factors such as the degree of dirt and wear as well as market demand, a rough estimate puts its value between $200,950 in today's market. If you're looking to enhance the appearance of your coin, you might consider cleaning it. However, it's essential to be cautious when cleaning coins, as improper cleaning can reduce their value. Always consult a professional if you're unsure. In conclusion, the UK Halfpenny 1942 in dirty condition may not seem like much at first glance, but it holds a unique place in coin collecting. Its value, though modest, reflects its historical significance and desirability among collectors. Next up the UK half penny from 1967, particularly focusing on its value in today's market. The UK half penny, minted in 1967, features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse side and a seated Britannia on the reverse. This coin was part of the last series of half pennies minted before they were demonetized in 1969. The value of a UK half penny from 1967 in uncirculated condition can vary. Generally, these coins are not considered rare, but their value can still be influenced by factors such as the overall condition, mint mark, and demand from collectors. In today's market, an uncirculated UK halfpenny from 1967 could be worth around $89,500. However, it's important to note that the actual value can fluctuate based on the condition of the coin and the current demand from collectors. The condition of the coin is one of the most important factors affecting its value. Uncirculated coins, which have never been used and show no signs of wear, are generally more valuable than circulated coins. Other factors that can affect the value include any errors or variations in the coin's design, the rarity of the coin, and the current demand from collectors. Conclusion In conclusion, the UK half penny from 1967 in an uncirculated condition can hold significant value for collectors. If you have one of these coins in your collection, it's worth getting it appraised to determine its current market value. Next up, the UK, the one penny from 1961. Background information, the UK one penny 1961 was minted during a time of transition in the UK's coinage history. It features the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse and a seated Britannia holding a trident on the reverse. 
Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state, with very fine falling in the middle. A coin in very fine condition will have visible but worn details, with only slight wear on the high points of the coin. The value of a UK one penny 1961, in very fine condition, can vary based on factors like demand, rarity, and condition. As of 2024, a UK one penny 1961, in very fine condition, is valued at around 300 thousands of dollars however, prices can fluctuate, so it's always best to check with a reputable coin dealer or online resource for the most up-to-date value. In conclusion, the UK one penny 1961, in very fine condition, is a fascinating coin with historical significance and value in today's market. If you have one in your collection, be sure to take care of it. Next up, the UK one penny 1938 coin. This coin, minted over eight decades ago, still holds value and intrigue in today's market, especially in good condition. The 1938 UK one penny features a portrait of King George VI on the obverse and a seated Britannia on the reverse. Despite its age, this coin can still be found in various conditions, from well-worn to mint. Now, let's talk about the value of the UK one penny 1938 in good condition. In today's market, this coin typically ranges from $500,900 of dollars. The value of this coin can vary based on several factors including its condition, rarity and demand among collectors' coins in good condition may have noticeable wear but still retain clear features and details. When evaluating the condition of your coin, you can refer to the Sheldon Coin Grading Scale, which ranges from poor to mint state. Coins in good condition fall in the middle of this scale, showing moderate wear but still retaining most design details. To accurately determine the value of your UK one penny 1938 coin, consider consulting with a professional coin dealer or using online resources such as coin valuation websites. In conclusion, the UK one penny 1938 coin in good condition holds a significant value in today's market, reflecting its historical significance and rarity. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, this coin is a valuable addition to any collection. Next up, the UK one penny 1919 coin in fine condition. The UK one penny 1919 coin is a fascinating piece of history, known for its intricate design and significance in numismatics. In this video, we'll explore its current market value, factors that influence its price, and tips for collectors. Let's start with the market value. As of 2024, the UK one penny 1919 in fine condition is valued at approximately $900,500 of dollars. However, it's essential to note that coin values can fluctuate based on various factors. Several factors influence the value of the UK one penny 1919 coin. These include its condition rarity demand among collectors and historical significance. Coins in fine condition are sought after by collectors for their well-preserved appearance and distinct features. The UK one penny 1919 coin was minted during a crucial period in history. Just after World War I, this adds to its historical significance making it a prized possession for many collectors interested in wartime and post-war coinage. Familiarize yourself with the coin's features, history, and market trends. Condition aim for coins in the best condition possible, as this can significantly impact their value. Ensure the coin is authentic by consulting reputable sources or experts in numismatics. Store your coin in a secure and protective environment to prevent damage and preserve its value. In conclusion, the UK one penny 1919 coin in fine condition holds both historical significance and value in the numismatic world. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, this coin is a must-have for any collection. That's all for today's video. A 2007 Thomas Jefferson $1 coin. Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, served from 1801 to 1809. And in 2007, the United States Mint honored his legacy by releasing this beautiful $1 coin. Now let's talk about the value. The 2007 Thomas Jefferson $1 coin minted in Denver features a striking portrait of Jefferson on the obverse and an image of the Statue of Liberty on the reverse. In uncirculated condition, this coin can hold significant value for collectors. So how much is it worth today? Well, in uncirculated condition, the 2007 Thomas Jefferson $1 coin typically sells for around $900,000 in the collector's market. Keep in mind that factors such as the coin's condition, rarity, and demand from collectors can influence its value. But regardless of its monetary value, owning a piece of history like this coin is a reminder of Thomas Jefferson's contributions to the United States. That wraps up our exploration of the 2007 Thomas Jefferson $1 coin. 
Remember, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, every coin tells a story worth preserving. Next up, the world of numismatics, exploring the fascinating history and value of coins. Today we're going to focus on a special piece, the USA $1 coin featuring the 14th President of the United States, Franklin Pierce, minted in 2010. Let's dive in. Um, first let's talk about Franklin Pierce. He served as President of the United States from 1853 to 1857. Pierce, a Democrat, faced a tumultuous presidency marked by controversies such as the Kansas-Nebraska Act and the issue of slavery, ultimately leading to the outbreak of the Civil War. Now let's take a closer look at the coin itself. On the obverse, we have a striking image of Franklin Pierce, accompanied by the inscriptions in God We Trust 14th President in 1853 to 1857. On the reverse, we see the Statue of Liberty, surrounded by the words United States of America, and one dollar this design pays homage to the iconic symbol of American freedom and democracy. Now let's talk about the value of this coin in uncirculated condition. As of 2024, the Franklin Pierce one dollar coin in uncirculated condition can typically be found for around $800,000 USD. While it's not particularly rare or valuable compared to some other coins, it's still a piece of American history worth cherishing. However, for collectors, the value of this coin goes beyond its monetary worth. It serves as a tangible connection to a pivotal moment in American history and the presidency of Franklin Pierce. And there you have it, folks. That's the story behind the USA $1 coin featuring Franklin Pierce. Next up, explore the value of the 2008 Andrew Jackson $1 coin. Introduced in 2007, the presidential dollar coin series honors the legacy of past U.S. presidents. Today, we're focusing on the seventh president of the United States, Andrew Jackson, who served from 1829 to 1837. The Andrew Jackson $1 coin features a portrait of the president on the obverse side, designed by United States mint sculptor engraver Don Everhart. On the reverse side, you'll find the Statue of Liberty, along with the inscription in God We Trust in 2008. Now let's talk value. The 2008 Andrew Jackson $1 coin, minted in uncirculated condition, can vary in worth depending on several factors. First, let's consider the condition of the coin. Uncirculated coins, meaning they have never been used in transactions, tend to command higher prices compared to circulated ones. Grading plays a significant role in determining a coin's value. Coins graded as D by professional grading services, indicating they were minted in Denver, are generally more common than those from other mints, such as Philadelphia or San Francisco. Factors such as surface quality, strike, and luster are meticulously examined during the grading process. So what's the value of a 2008 Andrew Jackson $1 coin in uncirculated condition? While prices can fluctuate based on market demand and other variables, you can typically expect to pay around $900,000 for one of these coins. However, if you're lucky enough to find one in exceptional condition or with unique characteristics, its value could be higher. For those interested in buying or selling these coins, online auction platforms and numismatic forums are excellent places to explore current market trends and connect with fellow collectors. And there you have it, folks. The story and value of the 2008 Andrew Jackson $1 coin. Remember, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, each coin tells a unique story worth exploring. Until next time, happy collecting. Specifically, the 1985 P minted Washington quarter. If you're a collector or just curious about coin values, you're in for a treat. The 1985 P. Washington Quarter is a gem in the realm of numismatics. This particular quarter, minted in Philadelphia in 1985, features the iconic portrait of the first president of the United States, George Washington, on the obverse side. What makes this coin special, you may ask? Well, besides its historical significance, its uncirculated condition adds immense value to it. Uncirculated coins are those that have never been used as currency, meaning they retain their original luster and pristine condition. Now, let's talk about value. While the 1985 P. Washington Quarter isn't considered rare, its uncirculated condition can still fetch a decent price among collectors. Depending on factors such as overall condition, demand, and market fluctuations, the value of an uncirculated 1985 P. Washington Quarter can range from $800,200 or more. So whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for these hidden treasures in your coin collection. You never know what valuable gems you might uncover. Next up the 1986 P. Mint Mark Washington Quarter. This particular coin, minted in 1986, features the iconic image of George Washington on the obverse side and the familiar eagle design on the reverse. But what sets it apart is its mint mark, the P indicating it was minted in Philadelphia. Now, you might be wondering, what's the value of this coin, especially if it's in good condition? Well, let's break it down. It's important to assess the condition of the coin. A coin's value can vary significantly based on factors like its wear and tear, scratches, and overall preservation. Coins in good condition typically command a higher value in the market. Once you've assessed the condition, you can turn to resources like online coin catalogs or consult with coin experts to determine its approximate value. 
For the 1986 P. Washington quarter in good condition, its value can range from $600,000 or more, depending on factors like demand, scarcity, and any unique characteristics it may have. Remember, the value of coins can fluctuate over time, so it's essential to stay updated on market trends and consult reputable sources for accurate pricing information. And there you have it, the value of the 1986 P. Mint Mark Washington quarter in good condition. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, exploring the world of coins can be both rewarding and educational. Next up, Washington Quarter minted in 1990 at the Philadelphia Mint. This iconic coin, featuring the profile of our nation's first president, George Washington, is a staple in many coin collections. But what sets this particular quarter apart is its uncirculated condition, making it highly sought after by collectors. For those new to the world of coin collecting, uncirculated refers to coins that have never been used in day to day transactions. They retain their original mint luster and have no wear or damage from handling. The 1990p Washington Quarter has a composition of 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel, with a diameter of 24.26 mm and a weight of 5.67 grams. Its design, featuring Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse, was created by John Flanagan and remains unchanged since 1932. Now let's talk about the value of this coin. While the 1990p Washington Quarter in uncirculated condition may not fetch astronomical sums, it's still a valuable addition to any collection. As of March 2024, its value typically ranges from $600,000 USD, depending on factors such as its condition, rarity, and market demand. So whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for this gem during your coin hunts. Who knows, you might just stumble upon a shiny piece of history. Next up, explore the value of a specific coin, the 1994p Washington Quarter in uncirculated condition. Hey there, coin aficionados. Thanks for joining us. Today we have a real gem to discuss the 1994 P. Washington Quarter. Minted in Philadelphia, this quarter is a staple of American numismatics. The 1994 P. Washington Quarter features the iconic profile of our first president, George Washington, on the obverse side, and the traditional eagle design on the reverse. Now let's talk value. In uncirculated condition, meaning it has never been used in transactions and shows no signs of wear, this coin can fetch a premium among collectors. According to leading coin value guides, the 1994p Washington Quarter in uncirculated condition is valued at around $700,000. Now, you might be wondering why such a low value well. Despite its relatively low monetary value, this coin holds significant historical and sentimental value to collectors. The Washington Quarter has been in circulation since 1932, replacing the standing Liberty Quarter. Over the decades, it has become a symbol of American resilience and patriotism. So whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, adding the 1994p Washington Quarter to your collection is a worthwhile endeavor. Not only does it represent a piece of American history, but it also holds its own unique charm. Next up, we're diving into the world of U.S. quarters, particularly the 1996d Washington Quarter in uncirculated condition. Hey everyone, and thanks for joining us today. Have you ever wondered about the value of those shiny quarters in your collection? Well, today we're going to explore the value of the 1996 D. Washington Quarter in uncirculated condition. The 1996 D. Washington Quarter is a special coin for collectors, especially when found in uncirculated condition. Minted at the Denver Mint in 1996, this quarter features the iconic profile of George Washington on the obverse and the majestic bald eagle on the reverse. Now let's talk about value. In uncirculated condition, meaning it has never been used in everyday transactions and remains in pristine condition, the 1996 D. Washington Quarter can hold significant value for collectors. According to recent market trends, an uncirculated 1996 D. Washington Quarter can fetch anywhere from $900,000, depending on its overall condition and demand among collectors. But remember, the value of any coin can fluctuate over time, so it's essential to stay updated with the current market trends if you're considering buying selling or trading coins. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, the 1996D Washington Quarter is a fantastic addition to any collection. Its historical significance and beauty make it a cherished piece among coin enthusiasts. And there you have it, folks, the value of the 1996D Washington Quarter in uncirculated condition. The UK One New Penny 1980 features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse and on the reverse, the iconic crowned portcullis design. In very fine condition, this coin should have minimal wear with most of the original details still visible now, let's talk about its value. In today's market the UK One New Penny 1980, in very fine condition, can typically fetch around $200,350 however, this value can fluctuate based on factors such as the coin's rarity demand and overall condition. One way to explain its value is by considering its historical significance. 
the UK won new penny 1980 was part of a series of coins issued during a period of economic change in the United Kingdom. Its value reflects not only its rarity and condition, but also its place in history. Collectors often look for coins like the UK won new penny 1980 to add to their collections due to their historical and cultural significance. As a result, coins in very fine condition can command a premium price. If you're lucky enough to own a UK won new penny 1980 in very fine condition, make sure to store it properly in a protective coin holder to preserve its value and remember the value of coins can change over time so it's always a good idea to stay informed about the market. Next up explore the fascinating world of coin collecting today we're going to delve into the value of a specific coin the UK 3 pence from 1962 specifically in extra fine condition. Before we dive into its value, let's talk a bit about the history of the UK 3 pence coin. The 3 pence coin, often referred to as a threepence, was a denomination of currency used in the United Kingdom from 1547 until 1971 when the decimalization of the currency took place. Now let's get to the exciting part its value in today's market the UK 3 pence 1962 in extra fine condition is a coin that's highly sought after by collectors in today's market this coin can fetch a significant price due to its rarity and condition. Several factors contribute to the value of the UK 3 pence 1962 in extra fine condition. These include its rarity historical significance and the condition of the coin. Coins in extra fine condition are those that show minimal wear and retain most of their original luster, making them more desirable to collectors. As of January 2024, the market value of a UK 3 pence 1962 in extra fine condition can range from $98,500. It's essential to note that the actual value can vary depending on the specific coin's condition and other market factors. If you're curious about the value of your UK 3 pence 1962 coin, you can use resources such as coin collecting websites, price guides, and online auctions to get an idea of its current market value. Additionally, you may consider getting your coin professionally graded to accurately determine its condition and value. In conclusion, the UK 3 pence 1962, in extra fine condition, is a coin with significant value and historical importance. Its rarity and condition contribute to its desirability among collectors, making it a valuable addition to any coin collection. Next up, uncover the value of a remarkable piece, the UK £1 1997 coin in good condition released as part of the UK's circulation currency, the 1997 £1 coin holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. Its distinctive design featuring the Celtic cross and the royal crown symbolises the unity of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, so what gives this coin its value in today's market? Firstly, its rarity plays a significant role as fewer coins remain in circulation. The demand among collectors continues to rise. Secondly, its condition matters. Coins in good condition, like this one command higher prices due to their pristine appearance and limited wear and tear. Show examples of the UK £1 1997 coin in various conditions, emphasizing the value difference. To explain its value, Let's consider the current market trends in recent years. The value of this coin has steadily increased, driven by its scarcity and historical significance collectors are willing to pay a premium for well-preserved pieces, making it a valuable addition to any collection. The UK £1 1997 coin is highly sought after by collectors. Its unique design and limited mintage make it a valuable find in good condition. Its value can range from $300,900 depending on market conditions. As we've seen, the UK £1 1997 coin holds both historical and monetary value whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting. This coin represents a piece of British history worth treasuring. Next up, Australia's 10 cents 1967 coin in very fine condition. Let's uncover its worth in today's market first. Let's explore the historical context. The Australia 10 cents 1967 coin was minted during the introduction of decimal currency in Australia. It features Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse and a lyra bird on the reverse. In very fine condition, this coin maintains sharp details with slight wear on the highest points. Now, let's discuss its value in today's market. The value of the Australia 10 cents 1967 coin in very fine condition has steadily increased over the years. As of 2025, it's valued at around $97,450. 
The value of this coin is influenced by several factors, including its rarity condition and collector demand. The 1967 10 cents coin is sought after by collectors due to its historical significance and limited mintage. Collectors appreciate the intricate design and historical significance of this coin. Its value continues to grow making it a valuable addition to any collection. Next up the United Kingdom one shilling coin from 1947 featuring King George VI. Specifically we'll explore the version with the large date focusing on its value in today's market and what factors influence its worth. The 1947 one shilling coin, part of the United Kingdom's currency during the reign of King George VI, is a fascinating piece of numismatic history. Its value today depends on several key factors, including its condition rarity and historical significance. Let's first talk about the large date variety. In 1947 the Royal Mint produced these coins with two different date sizes the small date and the large date. The large date variety is generally more sought after by collectors due to its relative scarcity. Currently a 1947 one shilling coin in fine condition with the large date can fetch anywhere from $900,500 however prices can vary based on the coin's condition, so it's always best to consult a reputable price guide or dealer for the most accurate valuation. So what determines the value of a coin like this condition is paramount. A coin in fine condition will have visible wear but still retain most of its original detail. Rarity also plays a significant role the large date variety being less common, tends to command a higher price among collectors. Additionally the historical context of the coin can influence its value the 1947 one shilling coin was minted during a period of post-war recovery for the UK adding to its historical significance. In conclusion, the United Kingdom one shilling George VI, 1947 large date coin, is a piece of history with value beyond its face value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, understanding these factors can help you appreciate the coin's worth and significance in today's market. Next up, the United Kingdom half penny, specifically the 1959 edition with a unique dark color shade, will explore its value in today's market and discuss the factors that contribute to its worth. Let's talk about the coin itself the United Kingdom half penny was minted from 1953 to 1967 as part of the decimalization of the British currency system the 1959 edition is particularly interesting due to its dark color shade which sets it apart from other half pennies of that era. Now when we talk about the value of a coin its condition plays a crucial role. The 1959 UK half penny in fine condition suggests that the coin has been circulated showing signs of wear and tear but still retains its overall design and details. Several factors determine the value of a coin like this rarity is one of the most significant factors. If the 1959 half penny with a dark color shade is less common or has unique features its value could be higher. Historical significance is another factor. Coins that are part of a significant event or era in history tend to be more valuable to collectors. Demand from collectors also influences the value. If there is a high demand for the 1959 half penny with a dark color shade its value could increase. In today's market the value of the 1959 UK half penny with a dark color shade in fine condition can vary however based on recent trends and auctions it could be valued anywhere from $77,450. In conclusion, the 1959 United Kingdom half penny with a dark color shade is a unique and intriguing coin that holds value both in its historical significance and its rarity. Its value in today's market reflects these factors, making it a prized possession for any coin collector. Next up, the United Kingdom two pence coin from 1988. Before we get into the specifics, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more coin collecting content. The United Kingdom two pence coin was first introduced in 1971, following the decimalization of the British currency. The 1988 issue is part of a series that features a depiction of a crowned portcullis with chains a motif that symbolizes security and strength. Now, let's talk about the value of the 1988 UK two pence coin in good condition. In today's market, this coin is generally valued at around $100,678, however, this value can vary based on factors such as demand, condition, and rarity. The value of a coin is influenced by several factors. First, the condition of the coin plays a significant role. Coins in better condition often command higher prices. 
Additionally, the rarity of the coin can also affect its value. The coins with lower mintages or those that are harder to find are usually more valuable to collectors. In conclusion, the United Kingdom 2 pence coin from 1988 is a fascinating piece of numismatic history. While its value may not be exceptionally high, it's a great addition to any collection, especially for those interested in British coins or decimalization. Next up, the United Kingdom's British half penny from 1908. This coin, despite its age and circulation, holds significant value in today's market. Let's explore why. The British half penny, minted in 1908, features a portrait of King Edward VII on the obverse and a seated Britannia on the reverse a design that symbolizes Britain's strength and heritage. In circulated condition, like this one, the coin's value can vary based on several factors the first thing collectors consider is the coin's rarity. While the 1908 half penny is not considered rare, its condition and historical significance play a crucial role in determining its value. Coins in better condition, such as those in very fine or uncirculated condition, can fetch higher prices due to their better appearance and preservation of details. However, even in circulated condition, the 1908 half penny holds value for collectors seeking to complete their collections or own a piece of history. The British half penny from 1908 is a fascinating piece. Its age and historical context make it a sought after item among collectors. Even in circulated condition, it's a valuable addition to any collection. Another factor that influences the value of the 1908 half penny is demand. The popularity of coin collecting has grown significantly leading to increased demand for coins with historical significance like this one. At auctions and through reputable dealers, you can find the British half penny from 1908 selling for anywhere between $1 million depending on its condition and other factors. It's essential to do thorough research and consult with experts to determine the fair market value of your coin. In conclusion, the United Kingdom's British half penny from 1908, even in circulated condition, holds value in today's market. Its historical significance, rarity and demand among collectors contribute to its worth. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a novice, this coin is a fascinating piece of history worth exploring. The Australian 20 cents coin minted in 2007, this coin, known for its beautiful silver color and uncirculated condition, has captivated collectors around the globe. Let's delve into the value of this remarkable coin. Despite its relatively recent minting, the 2007 Australian 20 cents coin holds significant value, particularly for collectors seeking pristine, uncirculated pieces. Designed by Stuart Devlin, the reverse side features the iconic Australian platypus, gracefully depicted in its natural habitat. This exquisite design, coupled with the coin's pristine condition, contributes to its allure and value among numismatists. Now let's talk numbers. The value of the 2007 Australian 20 cents coin in uncirculated condition can vary depending on factors such as demand, rarity, and overall condition. As of our research, its approximate value ranges from $600,000 USD. However, it's essential to note that the value of coins can fluctuate over time, influenced by market trends and collector preferences. So if you're fortunate enough to have this coin in your collection, it's wise to stay informed about its current market value. And there you have it, folks, the 2007 Australian 20 cents coin, a shining example of numismatic craftsmanship and a valuable addition to any collection. Next up, explore the value of the 2012 Australian 10 cents coin known for its beautiful silver color and uncirculated condition. G-Day coin enthusiasts. Today, we have a real gem to discuss the 2012 Australian 10 cents coin. Let's dive in and uncover its value in today's market. This coin minted in 2012, boasts a stunning silver color and is often found in uncirculated condition, making it highly sought after by collectors. The Australian 10 cents coin was first introduced in 1966 when Australia switched to decimal currency. Over the years, various designs have graced its surface, but the 2012 edition stands out for its striking appearance. Now let's talk numbers. The mintage figures for the 2012 10 cents coin were relatively low compared to other years adding to its appeal among collectors. As of today, the value of a 2012 Australian 10 cents coin in uncirculated condition can range from $300,000 USD, depending on its quality and rarity. But remember, the value of coins can fluctuate over time, so it's essential to stay updated with the market trends if you're looking to buy or sell dot. And there you have it, folks. The beauty and value of the 2012 Australian 10 cents coin dot next up. The value of a particular coin from down under the 2006 Australian 5 cents coin dot this little beauty right here may seem insignificant at first glance, but don't let its size fool you. Minted in 2006, this Australian 5 cents coin boasts a striking silver color 
and when found in uncirculated condition, it can hold significant value for collectors. Now, let's talk about why this particular coin is sought after. Firstly, its uncirculated condition means it has never been used in transactions, leaving its surface pristine and free from wear and tear. This is highly desirable for collectors who appreciate coins in their original, untouched state. In terms of value, the 2006 Australian 5 cents coin, especially in uncirculated condition, can fetch a decent price in the collector's market. However, it's important to note that the value can vary based on several factors such as rarity, demand, and overall condition. According to various numismatic sources and online platforms, the value of a 2006 Australian 5 cents coin in uncirculated condition typically ranges from around $200,000 odd. However, if you happen to have a coin with unique features or errors, its value could be significantly higher. So, if you're lucky enough to stumble upon a 2006 Australian 5 cents coin in uncirculated condition, it's definitely worth holding on to or considering adding to your collection. Remember to keep an eye out for any distinctive characteristics that could elevate its value even further. That wraps up our exploration of the value of the 2006 Australian 5 cents coin. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more numismatic insights. Until next time, happy collecting.